How's it going guys? I'm trying a new quiz and this one should be pretty fun. It's a hockey lingo quiz. So basically like how well do I know the hockey slang? I think there's like 35 questions in total so I guess we'll just get started here see how I do. Honestly I'm not sure. I could do terrible or I could maybe get perfect. And before I get started guys there's actually a link in the description for the quiz so you can go try it out for yourself and then come back and compare your score to mine. Um, we'll see who's better. First one here, which of these phrases is not a term for a player's hair? Loving the mullet there on Yager. Um, lettuce, salad, cabbage, and flow. I've heard lettuce, salad, and flow before. I've never heard anyone refer to a hockey player's uh, hair as cabbage, so I'm gonna go with that and we are correct. Uh, which of these terms means an assist? Pear, antler, apple, and asparagus. I think that would be obviously the apple. Uh, which of these is the proper abbreviation of celebration? C, Bration, Selly, and Brady. Obviously, uh, we're gonna Selly hard here if we get perfect on the quiz. Uh, which of these words they term for a goal? Uh, Burry, I'm guessing that's Barry, right? Barry, Bullseye, Dig, and Try. All right, so I think it's Barry, to like bury a puck in the back of the net. And we are right, okay. That one threw me a bit. I thought maybe it could've been like Bullseye, but I don't really know who says Bullseye. Uh, next up here, what is it called when a player shoots the puck before controlling it? 1T, snapshot, first touch, insta start. Obviously, it's a 1T. Uh, Subban on the Canadians there. Uh, when in the attacking zone, the area just inside the blue line is also called the North Stick, Crease, and Point. So, obviously, that'd be the point. Uh, the area in front of the net is called the Mound, Half Circle, Crease, Circle of Death. Alright, so that is the crease, or right in front of the net. I'm not sure they mean the crease. I think it's the crease, right? Yeah, okay. I don't know. I thought I was confused there with what exactly they were pointing to. Um, the area between the lines behind the net is called the Parallelogram Trapezoid Rhombus Gretzky. That's just the trapezoid, right? There we go, okay. A few of these, I don't know why I'm, like, you know, doubting myself on. What is it called when an attacking player crosses the blue line before the puck? Alright, so that's clearly offside, I guess. Kind of cheating too, I guess. It's against the rules. Icing delay of game. So, the first few ones were like slang. Now it's kind of just like asking us different rules and terminology, I guess. Uh, here we go. So, which is the slang term for a fight? Robot, Quickie, Fist Exchange, and Tilly. Um, <laughs> Quickie is kind of funny. I believe it's Tilly, although I barely ever hear this used. Okay, it is Tilly. Um, what is it called when you tuck the puck in from behind the net? Obviously, that's a wrap around, wrap and tuck, rock the baby, and a slick shot. I'm not even sure where they're getting some of these from. Number 12 here, which of these is a term for a hockey arena? Farm, barn, field, and igloo. Obviously, it's the barn, you know, the old barn. Uh, what does the term bar down mean? So, shot goes off the crossbar and over the glass, no, no. Shot goes off the crossbar and the net, yes. The arena bar is closed for the night. I mean, like, that could be barred down, right? You know, uh, pence you ask probably for that one. Uh, which of these refers to a player's teeth, jibs, tic-tacs, nibs, and gums? So I think it's jibs, but there's also like chiclets, right? I think people also call uh, teeth that, so there could be a couple answers there. Uh, what does ODR stand for? Obviously that's outdoor rank right there. It's an easy one, not even gonna bother. Even though that picture looks to be an indoor rink from what I can tell. Which of these terms do you not want to be said about your hands? Dirty, stone, nasty, and silky, obviously stone hands. I'm not sure why they're showing Datsuk for that. They should be showing like FNUF or, I don't know, someone with no hands. Kyle Quincy, probably. Uh, what is the hockey slang term for talking to your opponent? Banter, squawking, chatting, chirping. All right, so so far this is pretty easy. You're about halfway through and, I mean, we're perfect. So we'll see if it gets any tougher. Uh, what do you call the arena in the or the area? Sorry, in the middle of the attacking zone. So that's the slot. Pretty easy one there. What does it mean to wheel? Uh, to pick up women slash men. None of the above. Skate fast and pick up women slash men to skate fast. So I thought to wheel. Oh, to skate fast and pick up women slash men. Okay. I just thought you know to wheel, pick up women. I guess too. There was team wheel and how I should have known that. Wheel is fast, but I don't know. Usually when someone says they have wheels. It's the first one. Skate fast is kind of like whatever. All right, so I feel like that was a uh, technicality we got uh, wrong there. Uh, which of these terms does not describe a puck that goes in the top part of the net? Knots, cookies, cheese, and shelf. All right, so shelf's top of the net. Same with cheese. And I guess cookie, because like the cookie jar. So we'll go knots. Okay, there we go. Uh, was a slang term for the EA Sports NHL series. Love this. Little shout out to Chell here, of course, which is the answer. FIFA, imagine if somebody put that. Uh, D can also be known as a dangle. That's a pretty easy one there. Just a Dan. <laughs> I don't even get that. Uh, which of these is a term for the goal post? Uh, cylinders, red squares, metal pipes. Um, I think it's metal pipes. It could be either one of these. I think it's off the metal. 
pipes, off the pipes, my bad. I, I've heard, I swear I've heard people say like, off the metal. I'm like, I don't know. That's a true wrong answer there. It was 50-50. And then question number 24 here, what is a Gordie Howe hat trick? Um, it's a pretty easy one. Goal assist and a fight. Um, entering three opponents in one game. I feel like that should be immediate suspension um, for a long time. Definitely not a Gordie Howe hat trick. Uh, what do you call a helmet with a full face shield? So that's a fishbowl. Actually, uh, Matt Rowenski when he still had that scar, which is kind of cool. Uh, what do you call the area between the goalie's legs? So that would be the five hole. Thigh gap is definitely not the same thing. Nutmegs, clean up between the legs and like soccer, ozone. Thigh gap is kind of funny. Uh, which is another name for a slap shot? Wrister, snapper, knucker. Ah, the clapper tan, it's a clapper. Uh, which of these does not refer to a bad goalie? Sieve, wall, swish cheese, and win well. So wall is a good goalie. I've never heard of win well before. I have heard of swiss cheese and uh, sieve though. Uh, which is another word for the penalty box? Sin bin, litter box, shame bill, and bad guy box. Bad guy box, uh, it's obviously the sin bin. So we got six questions left here. I'm still, honestly the two we got wrong, I probably should have gotten right. We were like 50-50 on both. Uh, which of these does not mean the goalie made a big save? Um, arson, stone, robbery, larceny. Uh, so arson is like some crime, I forget exactly which. The rest are big saves. Uh, which of these is not a slang term for facial hair? Whiskers, dusters, muzzy, and tash. All right, so whiskers is duster. I I actually don't even know. These are these are tough ones. Duster is like if you're bad. Muzzy, I guess, for a mustache. Tash would also be mustache. Maybe it's duster. It's tash. Okay, I never heard of duster for facial hair. That's usually like a bad player. Um, I guess I'm learning something from this quiz. Number 32 here. What does dropping the gloves signify? Uh, retirement, end of the game, a fight, a penalty shot, obviously that's a fight, uh, which of these is not a slang term for a fight, dance, shootout, Donnybrook, and scrap, Donnybrook, I mean obviously scrap and dance are both, Donnybrook must be one, a shootout is not a fight, uh, which of these is not a term for a goal, gorilla, snip, geno, finish, okay, gorilla, <laughs> that's not even close, snip, geno, finish, all of those I've used, and then what is sauce, um, obviously that's a pass that flies through the air, so, we got two wrong, I believe. Current score there is 91%. I think uh, 33 of 35 then is our final score. Um, it doesn't actually show, but yeah, I think we only got, oh no, we got three wrong, my bad. But still 91%. I believe that's considered an A+. Plus. Still depends if you're a Canadian American or what, what grade scale you use. Average score there is 76%, so we crushed the average. Not gonna lie, I honestly thought I was gonna get perfect on that quiz. We came close. Like two of the ones we got wrong were 50 50s, and then the one. I think was a legitimate wrong answer. And definitely guys, try out the quiz if you haven't yet. Other than that, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'll leave a thumbs up. If you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure you do that. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.